Hello everybody, it's Corey here at Netta's. And first I wanna say thank you to everybody who showed up yesterday for our perennial event. Uh, it was a great turnout and everyone was very patient. We had to kind of hold back the crowds a little bit uh, to keep their, make sure there was enough room in uh, the, or people were spread out enough, but it all worked out. Thank you very much. Now I'm gonna give you a tour of some of the petunias that we have here in Greenhouse 5. So I'm gonna just kind of turn the camera around and give you a little tour. So these are some Super Cal Cinnamon. The Super Cal series is nice because it's known for kind of that veining a little bit. So it's got a little two colors. So that's the cinnamon. This one here is the caramel yellow. So I think that's a good one. The nice thing about those with the veining is that if you're mixing it with other colors, you don't have to worry as much because the colors kind of blend a little bit more. This one's a pink one. It's called Super Cal uh, Sunray Pink. And over here, French Vanilla has just a little bit of kind of a brownish orange in the center and more of a butter color on the outside. Over here is Mandeville. And Mandeville takes a little while to get its stripes usually. So you can see as they mature, uh, you'll notice as plant matures, you'll notice more and more in there. Over here, this is Black Mamba. This as well as the, oh, that was Tiki Torch over there. Sorry, that's not Mandeville. That is Tiki Torch. Uh, these are all crazy tunias. So they're more of a mounding type as were the sun rays. These are the blackest of the petunias. Over here, this is Raspberry Lemonade. This one's always really popular, sends it blooms all the time. Another crazy tunia, mounding and trailing with the crazy tunias usually. And then we have Bitter Lemon a very pale yellow. This one here is Mandeville, has kind of the pointed edges, and as that matures, it starts developing that little yellow rim around the edge. So uh, petunias often, when they start out blooming, can have a little bit different color combination than what they have later on. Over here, Heavenly Blue. This is a Surfinia. This one is a nice, thick uh, plant with lots of flowers. Over here, this is Yellowstone. This is one of the best yellow petunias we found. This is the first year we've, it's been out and it's looking fantastic. The flowers are lasting forever, so we're thrilled about that. It's held up pretty well when you water it. Um, it bounces right back. Sometimes the old fashioned petunias didn't do that so well. And this one here is Petunia Starfish. It's a purple, one, it's a really nice uh, shape and form to it. That's another more mounding uh, type. Then we get into our Sky series. So you've got, those are the speckly ones. This is Pink Sky. And then if we move our way over here, we're gonna get into the Burgundy Sky. Burgundy Sky is another one where it's gonna start changing. You're starting to see the flowers are gonna be having more of that yellow throat in them. And then this is night sky. It's a purple speckle. And it's a pretty dark purple. Sometimes I think on camera, it doesn't quite look quite the color that it is. Now I'll come over here. This is a new color. This one here is the electric purple uh, night sky or electric purple sky. Um, it's looking a little magenta in the on my screen. I don't know what it looks like on yours, but it's really a dark purple. And then we have Crystal Sky. It's kind of more of a lavender type of color. Over here, these are the Surprise Sparkle Reds. And so this is the first red version of this. It's actually a really dark pink or a really dark magenta, but it does have a good red redness to it. This one in front of it is the Glacier Sky, Headliner Glacier Sky. It's a bigger than the other uh, varieties um, and it has more of that white rim around it. And also the red one is a little bigger than the other ones I showed you. Over here we have Miss Marvelous. I've shown her to you in a couple videos because she just keeps sending up new blooms over and over again. The Zoom Petunia, brand new this year. Look at the purple in the middle of there and then that white rim. That one is Zoom, brand new. 
This one here, let's see, let's find a nice one. They're kind of, this one is the deep red and that one is a Surfinia. So that's an, it's not a super big one, but it's a really reliable one. This one is the Mini Vista Pink Star. It's a super tunia. It's got a smaller flower than the average petunia, um, but sends up tons of them. And they've got that nice stripe pattern in there. It is the annual of the year from Proven Winners. So I think you're gonna be seeing a lot of combinations with this one in it. And this one can, you can plant this just about anywhere. It's not a, you know, you don't have to take a lot of time with it. It deadheads pretty well and it doesn't suck up a lot of water. Let's see, this is the, the Bordeaux. That's also a Super Tunia. And that's got that nice dark center. Same kind of uh, family here, but this is the Fuchsia. And then we have Snowdrift. That's just the pure white. Um, really one of the whitest petunias, although Wave has got a really nice white flower as well. And then, this is Bubblegum Vista. You've seen this one all over the place. A lot of municipalities use it for their window boxes and their hanging baskets. And then, let's see, I don't have a good open one of the latte, but the latte has that white outside and that dark inside. And that's also a super tunia. And then we have the Royal Velvet, a very dark purple and silverberry with the pink center. Then we get into the waves, blue waves. These are the purple waves, which are actually more of a magenta color. And then when we come down over here, let's see, we have some white. And you can see the white waves are very pure white as well. And then we have the red velour wave. And those can get pretty huge. So you just need a couple of those plants to cover a lot of area, whether it's in a basket or you're putting it in the yard. We have some other ones, but we had trimmed them recently. So they're uh, not flowering at the moment. Although the Picasso in purple is, it's flowers a little bit small right now, but that's gonna get a little bigger. That's got that green edge. It's a really nice dense, plant with dense leaves and dense flowers. One of the favorites. And this is always a cool time to be in the greenhouse, at least this greenhouse, because we start getting a little bit of a fog and a haze. So we've, I guess I can show you some other stuff if you want to see it. Lemon coral sedum. This is the Goldilocks, just kind of a little ground cover, but it's good for baskets. We've got all kinds of the salvia in. So this is the Cathedral series. We've got that in blue. We've got it in white. There might be one other kind of a uh, blue and white version. I can't remember. I think it's this one here. It's got a little lighter color to it. We have the Grandstand purple, which is really, really dark purple. And then the Grandstand red. That's always a standout. And then we also have six packs of the red which is Lighthouse Red. Let's see, if you want a giant, giant petunia, you can always go for the Super Tunia Giant Pink. These things are huge. And there's a purple Surfinia version like that too, but you can't really see too much. Let's go into the fog over here. Some of the ornamental annual grasses. Fireworks grass goes fast. This one has the variegation and the uh, leaves kind of turn a little bit red. So if you want that one, get it early. The Prince Tut, they're starting to get some of their blooms. We kind of trim those back pretty frequently just to kind of keep them under control. This is the Misty Salvia over here. We'll be putting it with the others. This one's a little bigger than the, the others, but it's not as big as the Mystic Spires, which we've had in the past. We, had to, we decided to go with more colors instead of uh, sticking with some of the other varieties. And let's see, that's the King Tut. He's almost twice the size of the Prince Tut that I showed you. This is Beth's Blue. It's not flowering yet. It flowers a little later. It is so uh, underrated because it takes a little while for it to bloom. So it's got a nice full uh, foliage. And then when it does start to bloom, it has beautiful 
kind of purpley flowers. These are scented geraniums. It actually has kind of a citronella smell. So if you run your hand across it, it smells kind of like a lemon type smell. And that does help keep some of the mosquitoes away. So I think that's about all I can show you right now. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this little tour of Greenhouse 5.